techies and welcome back. I am Sambhav here. This is the third part of SAS character function. In this video, we are going to discuss about length function, a very important yet very easy. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to get the updates on my latest video. So in today's session, we are going to talk about the length function. How does the length function works? We will also talk about few concepts about leading and trailing blanks because they really play a very important role in the length function. And then we are going to talk about length function with numeric variables. Well, this sounds surprising because length function is supposed to be the part of character function and we are going to use it with numeric variables. How will it work? Let's see. And at the end of that, we will see some practicals to understand length function better. So let's get started. So guys, these are the list of functions we are going to see for the length uh, character function in SAS. And we have already discussed the upcase, lowcase, propcase and substr function. And if you have not seen my previous videos, don't forget to check them out. So let's get started with the length function. A very simple definition of length function is that it would return the following. Number one, it will return the length of a non-blank character string. Non-blank character string, what do we mean by that? Let's assume that we have a text called as SAS. Now here, there are three alphabets, S, A, S. So these are the characters and there is no blank associated with it. So it will return, the length function will return three if we pass this character value or uh, store this value in a, uh, store this value in a new variable and pass them in the as an argument of the length function second thing says that it excludes trailing blanks while counting the length now what is trailing blank and is there any type of other blanks we have let us see that assume that in the same example where we have mentioned sas assume that i am adding three blanks before sas and four blanks or let's say two blanks before sas and three blanks after sas let me represent these blanks with these lines so there are two lines representing two blanks here and three lines after the word sas which re represents three blanks after the sas now what is trailing blank and leading blank now the blanks which appear before the word before the word are called as leading blanks so these two are nothing but leading blanks leading blanks because they are ahead of the word so they are leading the blanks they are leading blanks similarly these three blanks that means the blanks which appear after the word are called as trailing blanks trailing blanks so here we have two types of blanks leading blank the blanks which appear before the word and trailing blanks which are blanks which appear after the word a very easy trick to remember because I know many people get confused that what is trailing and what is leading a very very easy way to remember is leading starts with the alphabet L and trailing starts with the alphabet T right if you look at the alphabets so L will appear before T so L M N O P Q R S and so on and so forth and then we get T that means L will appear before T so L the first thing which appears is nothing but your leading blanks and after the word that is the later part the blanks which appears after the word is nothing but your trailing blanks I hope I'm clear what is leading blanks and trailing blanks now getting back to the definition it says that excluding the trailing blanks that means if you want to calculate the length of this particular value that means including the blanks so what SAS will do is it will eliminate these trailing blanks SAS will not count it will not include this three blanks in counting the length of it but SAS will definitely count the leading blanks so in this situation 
the length of this would be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 because SAS is going to include your leading blanks, right? The third point which SAS says is that it will return for one for a blank character. That means if there is a blank character, SAS will return one value of it. Not only one, if, even if there are multiple blanks and if you're trying to find the length of those blank uh, characters or the blank values, SAS will actually return one for them. And this is a syntax. It is nothing but a variable name which is going to store the result of the function and length function and then you pass the string value. Right? Uh, now let's do some practical to understand this. I will take the same example for a clarity. So let's say data and let's say uh, function 1 and let me give a and I am specifying SAS, right? Let's include uh, result one and use the function length and let me pass argument a which is nothing but a character variable. Let's execute the code to see the result prop print data is equal to function underscore one run. So in this situation, SAS will return three because these are the these are the non-missing characters. These are the characters which is available. So SAS will return three. Now the second thing which SAS return is it will exclude the trailing blanks and calculate the length of it. So just let me copy this piece of code here. Let me give a new data set name called as function two, and now. I am going to add some blanks over here 1 and 2 so 2 leading blanks and let me add 3 trailing blanks 1 2 3 now let's look at the result once we execute the code you will notice that the result is 5 2 blanks plus 3 sas 2 blanks plus 3 alphabets not 3 sas I'm sorry 3 alphabets of sas word 1 2 3 so it will return you 5. Now the third thing which a length function can return is that it returns one for the blank character. Let's try that as well. So let me change the data set name to function 3 and now in spite of specifying any character or string I will leave it as blank and let's see what is the result. So according to the definition now SAS would return 1 because of the non-blank character. See, SAS is returning 1. Now guys, it is not necessary or mandatory that it should not, it can have any number of blanks. Assume these many blanks as well. Now, even if I execute my code right now, it will not count the number of blanks. It will just return 1 because we have seen in the definition that SAS will return 1 for the blank characters, right? Now, Another very important thing, length function or numeric variables? Well guys, yes, we have seen that length is nothing but a part of the character function. But can it work on numeric functions, numeric values? Sorry, not numeric functions. Can it work on numeric values? Yes, of course it can work. And let's see the result. Now, whenever a length function is operated on the numeric values, it will return these two things. It will return 12 by default for numeric variable or the numeric value. No matter whatever value you give or whatever variable you specify for the given variable, it will always return 12. Let's have a look at it. Now, I am going to create a new data set called as function 4 and function 4. Now, I am not going to specify a character value. I am going to specify a numeric value. That's the 1, 2, 3, 4 and let this be result 4 and now when we execute this code surprisingly SAS is going to return the value 12 SAS is going to return the value 12 many of you would have imagined or thought that SAS would throw an error stating that hey A is not having a numeric variable uh, it is having a numeric variable it is not a character value at all but still SAS will return this now Assume I am giving data function underscore five five a is equal to let's say I am giving some random numbers which is actually more than twelve 
and let me execute the code and see the result right so length of a run raw print data is equal to function underscore 5 and let's execute the code can you guess the result if you have guessed at 12 then you're perfectly correct no matter how long how long this is going to be the SAS will always return 12 in this situation now if it is returning 12 in this situation or it is returning 12 in the previous case where we only had three uh, numbers what is the reason behind this what is the thought process of SAS why does it returns 12 all the time right the reason is because SAS uses the best 12 dot format to convert the numbers to characters so that you can it can use it in the character function it means that SAS is actually converting these numbers into characters so that it can use it in the character function and in course of converting it into character values SAS is actually using a best 12 dot format I hope it is clear thank you so much for your time guys and you can leave your feedback in the comment section of this video and please don't forget to list the list uh, list the topics if you want uh, which you want to want me to discuss thank you so much for your time you have a wonderful day ahead